Does pre-exposure prophylaxis prevent women of reproductive age from acquiring HIV? In 2012, the FDA approved the combination pill of tenofovir and emtricitabine, known together as Truvada, to prevent HIV-1 seroconversion. However, questions have remained about the efficacy of different pre-exposure prophylaxis regimens, especially among women. VOICE was a randomized controlled trial designed to assess the efficacy of daily oral tenofovir, oral tenofovir emtricitabine, and 1% vaginal tenofovir gel, as compared with placebo, in preventing HIV-1 acquisition in women. The trial included 5,000 sexually active women 18 to 45 years of age from South Africa, Uganda, and Zimbabwe. The participants were randomly assigned to one of five treatment arms, oral tenofovir, oral tenofovir emtricitabine, oral placebo, vaginal tenofovir gel, or vaginal placebo gel. The women had a mean age of just over 25. 79% were unmarried, and 71% were using injectable hormonal contraception. They were counseled to use the study products daily. Standard HIV risk reduction counseling, individualized adherence counseling, condoms, and hepatitis B immunization were provided. HIV-1 testing was done monthly, and plasma tenofovir levels were checked quarterly. There were 312 incident HIV infections over a minimum of 12 months of follow-up. No treatment arm was associated with a significant reduction in the rate of HIV-1 seroconversion, as compared with placebo. In fact, the Data Safety and Monitoring Board stopped both the oral tenofovir and the tenofovir gel arms early for futility. In face-to-face -face interviews, participants across all treatment arms reported adherence of 90% or greater to the daily regimens. However, tenofovir was detected in no more than 30% of participants' quarterly plasma samples. More serum creatinine elevations were seen in the women assigned to oral tenofovir emtricitabine than in those assigned to placebo. There were no other significant differences in adverse events. The data suggests that in a population of predominantly young, sexually active women in sub-Saharan Africa, no regimen significantly reduced the risk of HIV-1 acquisition. Daily adherence to oral or vaginal tenofovir-based formulations was low.